I am super excited for today's project up at the cottage. We got an old aluminum fishing boat right here. Really cool old boat. It's being painted a few times. I think it's a 14 foot aluminum boat. It's seen better days, but I'm gonna give it a paint job and then I wanna turn it into a fishing boat. So I'm gonna add platforms in the inside. I got an old trolling motor I'm gonna hook onto the front. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this thing into something nice. This is gonna be the hard part. I gotta get it up onto those sawhorses. All right, I got the boat out of the water, up on the sawhorses, ready to go. I used this old, uh, these old tires. Remember that video? <laughs> <laughs> All right, first thing I'm gonna do is sand down any rough spots, really rough spots where the paint is flaking with 60 grit sandpaper. Uh, and then once I have that fairly smooth, I'll switch to 220 um, sandpaper. Now I'm looking for spots that have exposed bare aluminum. So spots like this spot here, um, maybe I'll sand an area that'll be bare exposed aluminum. I'm gonna hit those with a bit of primer, spray primer before I paint. And that's gonna help my paint adhere to the aluminum a little better. Let's get started sanding. Sanding the boat is a very good workout. <laughs> All right, I've done my 60 grit, my 220 grit. It's nice and smooth now. I've taken away any big chips off the side. Um, I'm gonna grab a leaf blower, blow it clean of all the dust, give it a wipe off, and then I'm gonna use my spray paint. All right, I got my father-in-law, Paul, here. He's gonna uh, take over. I got an idea here. You see right here, there was an emblem on there at one time. And we got raised rivets. So we're gonna grind these rivets off so that when we paint it, we won't have this sticking up. There you go. What do you think? Good idea? There you go. Let's do it. Senior coach right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. We just have a little bit of bare aluminum here now. A couple of other spots that has bare aluminum. We're going to grab the spray paint primer and hit those areas. We are using a zinc primer, marine grade, ideal for aluminum surfaces above or below water line. I'm gonna prime, I'm gonna prime the whole boat. There's all little spots throughout that probably should be primed, so um, I have enough. The can actually is lasting a really long time, so. All right, now that my primer's dried, I'm gonna use my paint. Now this is a marine grade paint. It's uh, Interlux Bright Side. Now, I did notice that the paint was pretty heavy to work with, so when you're putting it on, use nice thin coats and spread it out as much as possible. Paint is done. It turned out great. We're trying to figure out a way that we can flip the boat over so that we can still keep working and build this platform. A nice stripe. Really happy with that. We're gonna use some cardboard to build some templates for the platform. So we're gonna grab some plywood, get that cut, and fit it all in. Looks really good. Okay, super happy with that. Using cardboard and pre-building your template is definitely a huge help.
All right, I got these cool pedestals and seats from Canadian Tire, and uh, each one ran me about 80 bucks. Okay, that's it for today. We almost built a whole boat in 12 hours. <laughs> we uh, got the paint done. We got all the platforms built. We got all the platforms carpeted. See you tomorrow. We're up early this morning, and uh, we're gonna get the seats attached, get the trolling motor on, get this baby in the water. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. See? Perfect line. Perfect line. Look at that. Trolling motors installed. Seats are installed. I guess we'll carry it down to the water. Put it in. Got one. Paul's got one. First fish in the boat. Oh yeah! <laughs> the first fish of the fishing boat. <laughs> Perfect. So it's as easy as that. A couple pieces of plywood and some fresh paint. We'll catch you. Some nice fish. <laughs> See you guys. See you later, guys. <laughs>